The Land of Counterpain by Robert Louis Stevenson. When I was sick and lay abed, I had two pillows at my head, and all my toys beside me lay to keep me happy all the day. And sometimes for an hour or so, I watched my leaden soldiers go with different uniforms and drills among the bedclothes through the hills, and sometimes sent my ships in fleets all up and down among the sheets, or brought my trees and houses out and planted cities all about. I was the giant, great and still, that sits upon the pillow hill and sees before him dale and plain, the pleasant land of counterpane. The touch of the master's hand. Twas battered and scarred, and the auctioneer thought it scarcely worth his while to waste much time on the old violin, but he held it up with a smile. What am I bid, good folks? he cried. Who'll start the bidding for me? A dollar? A dollar? And who'll make it two? Two dollars once, three dollars, three dollars twice, going for three. But no, from the room far back, a gray-haired man came forward and picked up the old violin. Then, wiping the dust from the old violin and tightening the loose strings, he played a melody pure and sweet as a caroling angel sings. The music ceased, and the auctioneer, with a voice that was quiet and low, said, What am I bid for the old violin? And he held it up with the bow. A thousand dollars, and who'll make it two? Two thousand, and who'll make it three? Three thousand once, three thousand twice, and going and gone, said he. The people cheered, but some of them cried, we do not quite understand what changed its worth. Swift came the reply, the touch of the master's hand. And many a man with life out of tune and battered and scarred with sin is auctioned cheap 
to the thoughtless crowd, much like the old violin. A mess of pottage, a glass of wine, a game, and he travels on. He is going once, and going twice. He is going, and almost gone. But the master comes. And the foolish crowd never can quite understand the worth of a soul and the change that was wrought by the touch of the master's hand.